Lombardi was such a strong individual. And he exuded that in his interviews, and you could tell that he was a no-nonsense person, and that he was committed to rebuild this team and to make this team a championship team. And people responded to that. And uh, uh, so that you could feel that on the campus, of course, uh, because whenever there was something going on and Lombardi was involved and visible, um, you could just feel that intensity and uh, that commitment. And you knew that you could feel that things were going to change, that they were going to get better and a lot better. That's the impression he gave. Um, what people saw, of course, on the sidelines, at the, or when he was on the sidelines at games and so on, of course, he was volatile and uh, uh, yelling at players, but he had a, a soft touch. I don't know if I should say a soft touch, but a human touch uh, for each one as an individual so that he could bring out the best in them and make, help them realize what they are capable of and to make them want to excel. He had a singular focus. I saw the philosophy of the man and the total commitment and the real dedication that he had to excellence and to, he was willing to give all of himself dedicate himself totally, and that's what he expected of them. And of course, Marie told me, his wife Marie told me at times, things she told me, that he was totally, fully dedicated to the excellence and producing a winning team. That's my first impression, and that's what I saw then um, uh, subsequently as I saw him here on campus as in Sensenbrenner when I was living there, and when he served mass in the morning, served my mass in the morning, um, uh, you could tell he was focused on the mass, on his religious feeling, his religious commitment. That was primary, you could tell that, because he served the mass and uh, was totally dedicated, and uh, you could see his um, devotion to what he was doing. And I'm sure that football went out of his mind because his faith was so important to him. And he said that at times. He mentioned to me how important his faith was to him. And that's why he went to Mass every day. And he didn't want that publicized. He didn't want that talked about. Um, but that, again, total commitment uh, was the primary thing I saw. And then when I saw him with, the, with uh, players in the, uh, in the building, um, you could tell it was all business. Then he was focused on the team, on football, every minute. He was always serious when I noticed him. Um, and uh, I asked him one time uh, after Mass, of what is it like dealing with so many different personalities, so many different kinds of men? And he said, well, I, you know, uh, was it Henry Jordan who said he treats us all the same like dogs? <laughs> and, uh, but Lombardi said to me, uh, he said, uh, well, I try to te treat each one as an individual as I know the particular man and as I know what I expect of him and what he is capable of. Father Burke was president of the college at the time when Lombardi came, so naturally he would have been the liaison with uh, uh, Coach Lombardi. And, uh, and they had a, a close relationship. They did. Uh, they conferred quite often and they uh, were together socially. His relationship with the college began with Father Burke, and that was the kind of keystone 
of his relationship here. I asked Marie, uh, because it was well documented in the papers and everything, that she didn't want to come to Green Bay. She uh, cried all the way in the car. It says she cried all the way to Green Bay. Well, uh, leaving Manhattan for Green Bay, uh, it's understandable. So I asked Marie that, that evening, I said, Marie, do you think you're, uh, you're eventually going to like it here in Green Bay? And she echoed exactly Vince's philosophy and his intention. She said, Father DuPo, it all depends on one little word, win, win, 